Hi friends, welcome to GT Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about Flexbox. So first of all, let me show you a simple example of why we need Flexbox. So I will just create a simple basic HTML page. So I have an HTML file and a CSS file. So we will name this document Flexbox. Now in this we will create two divisions. One will, we will call parent and inside that we will create another division called uh, child so we have these two divisions one inside the other now we will go to our CSS before that we will link our CSS style.css now in our CSS first of all we will do some basic resetting set the margin to 0 padding to 0 and box sizing to border box so we will now style the parent we'll give it a height and a width of 400 pixels we'll give it a background color of yellow so we have our parent division over here now we will style the child division so we'll set the width to 100 pixels height to 100 pixels and a background color of say orange so we have our child division over here and the parent division here and now if we want to center this box horizontally what we need to do is set the margin to zero auto and we can see that this box is centered horizontally and now if you want to center it vertically as well we need to do some more difficult task that is we have to set the position to absolute and uh, then set the top to 50 percent now we have to set the position of our parent division to relative now it is starting from 50 percent from the top now we will set the left to 50 percent now it is starting from the center now what we need to do is move it uh, to the center so for that we have to do transform translate and in that we have to type minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent on the x and the y axis now if we will refresh this we can see that our division is centered horizontally and vertically so now you just saw how difficult it was to center this box vertically so i will just show you how to do it using flexbox so first of all we will remove all these things so using flexbox you just need to type display flex and type align items to center and justify content to center we can see that it has been centered vertically and horizontally with just three lines of code so this is one of the reasons why you should use flexbox so there are many other features of flexbox which we will learn in this video so let's get started so here in our html we have this parent division and this child division so we'll create some more child divisions so these are the child divisions that we have we'll just add some border to pixel solid so these are our four divisions now to use flexbox you have to type display flex in the parent division so this is our parent division this yellow box and these are the child divisions so to use flexbox you have to type display flex in this parent division and we can see that now we can use flexbox so the first thing that i will show you is called the flex direction so for that first of all we will put some numbers in our division i will just do some basic styling so these are our child divisions and this is the parent division now there are different uh, properties that we can use so first of all we will look at flex direction 
So there are different options over here. So by default it sets the value of flex direction to row. So now if we we'll set it to column, we can see that it changes the direction and it uh, it is placed column wise. And there are other options like column reverse. So what column reverse does is that it will start from the from the end. So we can see our first first child is starting from the bottom and then it goes to the top so this is how column reverse works so in the same way we also have row reverse so here the children will start from the right and go to the left so this is all about flex direction now the next thing that i want to show you is called flex wrap so for that we will just add some more of these divisions So, so we have eight divisions over here so here we can see that as we add more and more uh, child divisions um, each of these divisions are shrunk and uh, and if you don't want this kind of effect you can do flex wrap and set it to wrap so here we can see that it goes to the next line so in this way if we add some more of these child divisions we can see that it is wrapping and it goes to the next line so this is how flex wrap works now the next thing that we'll learn is called justify content so we will just remove all these things and we'll also remove some of these divisions so now we have three child divisions and uh, we'll just type justify content and if we type center over here we can see that everything moves to the center and there are different options over here so by default it is set to flex start so it will start from here now we can set it to flex end where it will align itself to the right then there is the option of space between so here we can see that it starts from the uh, left corner and goes to the right corner but it gives even space between all of these child items then we also have another option called space around so what this does is that it gives a little bit of space uh, in the beginning and the end so this space over here is twice the space of this over here so this is how uh, the child divisions will be placed when we say space around and there's another called space evenly now all the spaces in between and the front and the end will be the same so we will see so these all these spaces are the same so this is how justify content works so the next thing is called align items so we will type align items now there are different options over here by default it is set to flex start so it will start from uh, the top then we can set it to flex end so which will um, align it to the bottom then we also have the options of align items to the center it will center it horizontal uh, it will center it vertically and then we also have the option of stretch so to use stretch you have to remove uh, the height property from here so this is how stretch works then we have the other option called baseline so baseline is uh, basically uh, an alignment option where you can align based on uh, the base of this text so let me show you how it works we will give some uh, more class to this we'll make it red blue orange So here we can see how uh, the baseline option works. So this is the bottom of the font. So everything will be aligned using the baseline of the font. So the next thing that I want to show you is called align content. So if you type align content over here, we have different options. So for that we need to have some more of these divisions. 
and we will also set the flex ramp so with align content what you can do is if you set it to center we can see that both these lines of um, divisions will be centered vertically so there are different options like flex start which is there by default flex end which aligns all the divisions to the bottom and then we also have options like uh, space between just like we saw in uh, the uh, justify content so we have all the options that we saw in the justify content so this is basically justify content but uh, in the opposite axis so now if we set uh, the flex direction to column it will work in the other way so just remove this so here we can see that it works in the other axis so this align content and justify content depend on the flex direction alright so now we are done with the parent division we will see what we can do with the child division so one thing to note over here is that you can have a display flex inside another display flex for example uh, we have this parent division with a display flex and we can have a display flex for this child also so let me just do it display flex and each of these child elements uh, will have its own display flex so we will align to the center so we can see that all these uh, numbers are centered because each of these child elements are of display flex so let's get started with what we can do with the child element so here we can see that we have this child division the first property that I'm going to talk to you about is called the order property so using order you can um, basically order these things in different ways we'll also go ahead and uh, remove this flex direction so these are our child uh, divisions so what we can do over here is that you can order each of these in different manner I'll just uh, remove some of these so what we can do over here is that uh, if you want the blue one to appear on the first position you can simply type order and negative one so here we can see the blue one appears first and then all the others appear we can do that with all the others that we have so by default the value of order is zero so we need to have negative value for anything that we need to um, bring to the first position if we give the order property to all the elements then we can uh, simply write any positive value for example we want the blue one to be the first we want the orange to be the second and the red to be the third so if you refresh this we can see the blue one comes first then the orange and then the red so this is how ordering works in uh, flexbox so the next thing i want to show you is called flex grow so for that we will uh, uh, remove the width property and here we will tap flex grow one we can see that all the elements grow to the full width of the parent division you can have different flex grow values for each of these different child divisions so I will just remove it from here and here we will type flex grow 1 this uh, division will grow to the full width that is remaining so both of these divisions will have the default width and uh, the red division will have the full width because we specified it as flex grow one and here if we set the flex grow of the blue division to two it will have twice the width of this red division so here we can see this blue division has two times the width of this red division we can do the same for the other division so if we set it to three it will have three times uh, the width of this division and this division will have two times the width of the first division so this is how flex grow will work and it is always flexible so 
if you don't have much space over here to grow then it will not grow but if it has space to grow then it will definitely grow so this is how flex grow will work the next thing is called flex shrink so i'll remove this flex grow from here and uh, i will set a width of 50 percent so if i set a width of 50 percent we can see all these three divisions will not have uh, the space to sit over here i'll just remove this wrap so here we have these three divisions but we specified width of 50 percent for one of this child but since it is flexbox it is uh, flexible and uh, all these divisions are finding place for themselves so if you don't want that we can type flex shrink and set it to zero so it will not shrink and uh, it will have the full width that we specified over here we can also do that for each of the individual divisions so here if i type flex shrink zero so the red one will not shrink here we can see the red one has a 50 percent width and both these divisions have the remaining width so you can do this with all the other divisions that you have and i think you got the point so the next thing i want to show you is called align self so we can have alignment for each of the individual divisions so if you want the red one to be aligned to the bottom we can type align self and here we will type flex end so it will align itself to the uh, to the to the bottom and if you want the blue one to align to the center we can say align self it is just like uh, the align items that we had uh, in our parent division but using align self you can align the individual divisions now the last property that we will see is called flex basis so it is basically the width or the height of uh, each of these divisions so here if i will uh, type flex basis and uh, say 30 percent we can see the width changes and all of these uh, divisions have a width of 30 percent we can do the same with uh, the child elements so here we have a 30 percent width for uh, the red division and all the others have the remaining width so if you have the flex direction to column it will change to height so i will just show you flex direction to column and if i set the flex basis over here and set it to say 10 percent we can see it acts as the height of the division so flex basis uh, is basically dependent on uh, this flex direction if the direction is a column then flex basis will act as the height and if it is row then it will act as uh, the width of the division so this is basically uh, some of the basic concepts of flexbox i hope that you have understood how to use flexbox in the next videos i will show you how to use this flexbox uh, concepts and use it in a real world example i'll just show you what we will build in the next video this is what we are going to build in the next video using flexbox so if i increase the size of the window you can see uh, the ui is flexible and if i decrease it to some certain size it uh, changes the layout and uh, this is all done using flexbox so i hope that it will clear some of the doubts that you have so by the way if you like this video please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day